Okay, uh, the first video we established that we are light, and that's what we're made of, and uh, and that's us, our body, uh, the human body. But um, the earth, too, is made of light, and the earth, uh, we established in the first video as well, the earth moves around the, moves around the sun and has a 20... It has a 23 degree tilt. This tilt right here, a 23 degree tilt, as it so it moves around the sun. What happens as it moves around the sun is it creates the seasons, the weather, and the hues of light change. So as we look at this right here, what is that? If this is the equator right here, this line, this really fine green line right here this wave starts uh, happens across the across the earth so as if this is the horizon line of the earth the Sun uh, at, as it moves around uh, excuse me the uh, right the Sun appears at different uh, heights in the horizon at different times of the year so, uh, at June 21st, the uh, beginning of the summer solstice, the beginning of summer, the sun is at its highest point uh, of, of the year, and it's um, uh, the longest day of the year, because the sun is at its, at its high point. So, uh, let me start from the, let's start from the spring. The spring uh, equinox here, or some some call it Easter, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, the the sun is at an equal part of the uh, horizon. Uh, excuse me, the equal part of day and light. And uh, in the west, in the uh, at sunset. Or in the um, excuse me, uh, in um, September September twenty first, if this if this was the full cycle here, uh, it will be at uh, two at equinox, an equal part of the sky. So the equal, the middle, this this zero point of the wave of this wave is the uh, most powerful point. In which to meditate or do any kind of uh, yoga or any kind of uh, body work or spiritual work is always at the equinox. It's this equal, balanced middle way. This middle, even even amount of light. It's the healthiest and the most energizing of all the light. So you know, uh, just at sunrise, just at sunset. Uh, or just before sunrise, or just before, uh, just before, and just a little after sunset, are the times to, to do all your, you know, spiritual work, body work, all that great stuff. The other parts of this wave uh, are like you know, twelve noons, but best time to be doing all your uh, most activities uh, that you know that require lots of physicality. So let's start. Let, let's just start the bigger picture of this. Of how this wave, is, how this wave is created, and uh, the way this wave created is like this. Um, so as the sun, as the Earth is moving around, let's say uh, in March twenty first, uh, the Earth is uh, at a point of the sun where uh, where the tilt. Has it be an equal amount of day and equal amount of night, and then as it move, as the Earth moves around uh, in its orbit around the Sun, it gets to June twenty first, where it reaches its peak, its high point uh, of it. It's up here in the uh, um, Tropic of Cancer, uh, in, in in and it's at its high point. So it's the longest day of the year. You're gonna have a long, you know, a long day. Um, then the Earth is moving, or completely going around its orbit. Halfway through its orbit, it gets to September 
21st, which is the fall equinox. This was the summer solstice, by the way. Uh, and that gets to the fall equinox on September 21st. And again, it's equal an equilibrium point of even day, even night. And then it keeps moving after September 21st. It goes below the equator. The sun drops below. And this creates like our fall weather. Uh, but it goes below the equator uh, because of the tilt again. Um, and comes down all the way to December 21st, the winter solstice, the longest night of the year, the shortest day of the year. Some places no day at all for like months. Or some places just a few days of no day, but it just depends on where you are uh, on this planet. But here's the bottom part of the wave on uh, December 21st, and it's um, move, the Earth continues on and moves around its orbit, getting to its completion, back to where we started on March 21st, back to back to spring. It r rises, the sun on the horizon comes up higher on the horizon every day keeps moving back up till we get back to March 21st, spring again. And that puts us back over here. Yes, March 21st, spring, equilibrium. Equal days, equal equal um, nights. Um, and this is all caused by this 20, 23 degree uh, tilt of the Earth. So it creates this whole balance of light that makes all the different uh, people of the world, makes all the different plants come up, makes all the different, uh, you know, uh, creations and manifestations on, on this earthly plane happen in all, all, all this variety of this great uh, color spectrum here. As the light comes through different side angles, it creates different parts of the earth uh, um, manifestations. So then, um, let's look at here, the di different seasons, again, we have here, if we look at the different seasons, uh, from here, from March 21st, and let's put June 21st up here at the top of this whole mo uh, circle, if we look at a circle and not, not just this wave, uh, you'll have spring in this quadrant here. And then when, at the June 21st, summer starts, and then you have the summer quadrant all the way down to this part of the uh, quadrant. Uh, and then from March 20, uh, excuse me, from September, September 21st, it moves from this uh, top of this uh, top of this ball quadrant uh, starts um, September 21st and comes down to uh, December 21st, down to the bottom of the quadrant here. Um, again, I'm using this diagram. It has a couple of confusing things on, confusing items on there, but this is to show different ways. I would write it out a different way to make it more clear. But um, here's where Decem December 21st, it's the uh, beginning of winter. Uh, and then we have the winter quadrant, which would be from December 21st back up to March 21st in, in, the, in the winter quadrant here. So uh, if you break these into four, this would be the, this is the four seasons, and we have spring, summer, fall, and winter, and uh, mo moving in this matter. So you have the cycles all going around, and they're all created by, again, this 23 degree tilt of the sun's light the sun's electromagnetic energy coming in and charging this atmosphere and creating hues of light and blends of these light uh, together to make uh, all the different uh, parts of creation. So um, also we can see with this graph and I'm going to end this video in just a minute here because um, the battery is going down. Um, the other elements that get created by this by, by this light and this hue is the elements of fire, earth, 
air and water. So if, you, if, you, if we were using this like an earth glyph, or just, just like a cycle, cycle glyph, not a compass, you'd have fire and water, its opposite. Then you have air and earth, its opposite, right there. So you have the four elements, and the middle point being the calm, the middle point being the zero point. There's uh, the, uh, the perfect point of balance of all four elements, and as you move out from these elements, uh, that's where you get um, uh, the, the, this kind of like figure eight um, cur curving, uh, well not, well not curving, um, coiling, spiraling. So uh, uh, let's say this is the center point, this, these are the extremes of these different uh, elements in the different quadrants. So let's say it starts from the middle, the energy it comes out, and it comes in, then it curves around and comes back like that. It mixes figure eight uh, like that. And it also moves in threes. So it, you know it also moves in threes. So let's do a three movement here. So it comes the energy comes up, moves around, creates this little, S shape, right? And this way, and it comes around again, and it moves in threes. Something like that. Or we can even do it like this. Do it one more time for you. Let's do it this way to make it a little easier for me. It energy comes up, reaches its peak, comes back as a negative pole, then it moves again curving, nothing moves in a straight line, curves around, comes back to the center zero point, curves around, comes back to the, and it, and it makes this kind of pattern. You can see that. Three, so you have your beginning of the cycle, its fixed point, and its mutable point, you know, so its peak it's fixed, it's beginning, and it's mutable. So you have cardinal, fixed, mutable. Um, and it'll move like that, and into each quadrant will have its own, you know, um, uh, peak like that. So let's say this is this is the, uh, the the Earth's. Here's a spring. Spring has its cardinal right here, and then it's going to have its fixed point, and then it's going to have its mutable. Cardinal, fixed, and mutable. And that will show, um, er, you know, the arc has its beginning, which is accelerated energy, then it's fixed, solid, pure energy, and then it's mutable energy, where it changes. Uh, and that each point has that, its beginning, middle, and end beginning, middle, and end, beginning, middle, and end. And uh, same thing with every day, same thing with every body system in your body, same thing with anything. This, this curve represents that. Okay, so we're going to go to our next video uh, and go into more of this uh, cardinal, fixed, and mutable uh, light uh, electromagnetic energy. Stay tuned.